might turn into a chicken nu uh, nugget, we're concerned. Um, but in light of that fact, I'm always trying to find new and different and cool things that include buffalo chicken. So that's where we're going to start here. Oh, and there's my sister. Hello, sister. Oh, you know what I need for our buffalo chicken casserole is the tater tots. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh. So here's the tater tots, just regular tater tots. So I'm going to get started here with the chicken dish. So I have, um, because I knew we were real estating today, so I knew I wouldn't have time to cook the chicken, but not usually, I mean, you could cook the, ch the chicken if you wanted to, but I didn't. I just bought the rotisserie chicken at the store, and I pulled it all off the bone, and here's one rotisserie chicken. Um, all pulled apart and ready. So that's what I'm using for my chicken. And then I have one can here of cream of chicken soup. And yeah, I know my sister, our children are gonna start clucking. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the nuggets, but they both love the nuggets. So yes, oh my gosh. Get all my tools out, get started. I need a couple more. Let me get this cream of chicken soup out of the can here. As you guys know, I usually make my own if I'm making a dish like this, but I'm trying to make this one simple and easy because I know that everyone is wearing many, many hats right now. Teacher, principal, vice principal, <laughs> employee, wife, spouse, mother, father, cousin, brother, <laughs> all the hats. So this one I thought, let's just make something simple that the kids will love, and this is it. So I got my one can there of cream of chicken soup going in, and then I'm going to put one container of sour cream. So that's going in. I thought I would mix this together first before I get it in with the chicken, so the sauce is kind of mixed up first. Oh my gosh. What's not good with a package of sour cream? I mean, seriously. <laughs> that's a good place to start with any recipe in my book. So there we go with our sour cream and our soup. I'm going to start to mix that up a little bit. And then I'm going to put a quarter cup and maybe a dash more of Frank's, the favorite wing sauce around here. We go through it because Rex eats it on everything, I swear. But we've got Frank's, good old original. And I'm going to put the quarter cup and maybe a splash. We'll see what color it turns here. But a heaping quarter cup of Frank's going in there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get it all over me though. Yum! You guys like buffalo chicken? Because this one is going to be yummy from the buffalo chicken department. Oh my gosh, you guys see the color of this? Hi, Instagrammers. How are you guys today? Oh my gosh, beautiful color red with our soup and our sour cream. This is going to be delish. Okay. Get that going. And then I'm going to put some cheese in there. And I had, um, it calls for cheddar, but I'm going to put both. I'm going to put some cheddar. Oh, maybe a cup of cheddar. And then I'm going to put, I have some Jack and I have that quesadilla cheese, the Oaxaca cheese that I use for queso fundido, and I had some Jack, 
and some of that Oaxaca that melts so awesome for queso fundido or quesadillas. It's the best. So COVID cooking, we use what we've got. And that's what I have. So I'm mixing in a little extra cheese here, different kind. It's not all cheddar because I like that Oaxaca cheese. It melts so well. So that's going in. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Of course, buffalo chicken. Yum. So this loveliness, I'm going to put this into our chicken bowl. It will all fit in that one. So let's do that. Let's pull our chicken here. Like I said, this is one rotisserie chicken from the store that I just pulled all the chicken off of. So it is going in. So yes. Oh my gosh. Yummy is this. And easy. Like I said, quick and easy. Some of these recipes I've been making, you can make them in the morning when you're making breakfast, stick them in the fridge, and then at night you're ready to go. So you only have to mess up the kitchen once. Because as you can imagine, we've done a lot of dishes around here <laughs> in the last couple months. So if I can knock out two meals and one mess, I'm all in. Or more than two meals and one mess, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up with our chicken. Oh my gosh, smells yummy, 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 yummy. Yum. Get that all mixed up. And of course you can use whatever chicken you like. If you want to make it with thighs or with breasts or whatever you like, this recipe will work for that. Just cook it first. <laughs> this is chicken is cooked. Okay, so I'm going to spray my dish here. I think this is going to need pepper just because I, I know it's going to need pepper because that's what I like. So I'm going to put a little pepper in here. So recipe is just a guide, right? <laughs> it is here. It's just a guide. So to that, make sure I got everything in here. I did. And then the bag of tater tots going in. And they're frozen, which is fine, but that's how they're going in. Let me rinse off my hands really quick. I've got a mess going on here. Okay, so I have my pan here and I'm gonna spray this with just some cooking spray real quick. So if you're on, give me some comments so I know you're there. So I can't see who's there when I'm going this fast. Some hearts, some likes. Let me know you're there. Because I love when you guys are watching me live. It's so much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna stir in these tater tots. Whoa! Carefully. Well, I was trying to get a bowl that they'd all fit, fit in. So, let's see if I got them all to fit here. <laughs> I read so many recipes. I've never done a casserole with tater tots. Um, but then I came across this one. And I'm like, oh yeah, buffalo chicken. That will be a hit around here. Hey Tina, how are you? And Annette, thanks you guys. We are making buffalo chicken tater tot casserole for my buffalo chicken loving child. Let's see, oh my gosh, you guys, looks delish. So this, I'm gonna try and dump this gracefully into this pan, let's see how that goes. So I just sprayed the Pyrex with a little bit of cooking spray, and then I'm gonna dump this in. Yikes, I need my magic hands. <laughs> Where's my magic hands, come help me. Okay, let's get that in there. Oh my gosh, yum. How is everyone today? Have you all gone to our YouTube channel and subscribed, I hope? Ventura Real Estate, please go subscribe. We are almost to a thousand, so we're trying to get there. Okay. Hold on, get rid of the bowl. And uh, I had, oh there we go. Like I had a paper towel right around here. I know, well, Tina, I wish the kids were at school. That would be much more fun. But Rex is not here much. He has wheels. He is in your hood more than this one. <laughs> oh. So, oh my gosh, look at how good that looks. Okay, so casserole check. And how long did that take? Like 10 minutes and boom. Dinner is in the casserole dish. And then I'm going to sprinkle this with some celery that I just diced finely and put it on top. Because what's a buffalo chicken wing without some celery? Well, and some blue cheese. 
So if your family likes blue cheese, Rex does not. But if you did, you could probably put some blue cheese on this or crumble some on the top would be good too. Gary and I love blue cheese, but Rexy does not. <laughs> so there we go. Buffalo chicken, tater tot, casserole, yum! And then we're gonna make, oh my gosh, this recipe. Okay, I gotta wash my hands again. Hold on a second. Mostly because I'm gonna be touching the next one too. So this next dish, oh my gosh, I read this recipe a while ago, because what do you do at night? I read recipes. <laughs> and this one, I love crystallized ginger. I love it. You guys know, I went down to Trader Joe's today just to buy crystallized ginger. $100 later, you know how that goes. But I went down there to buy one thing. So I have here whipped cream. I whipped the cream, so I knew you guys didn't want to li uh, listen to me do that. And then in my mixing bowl here, hold on Instagram, let me pull my bowl over here a little bit so you guys can see. I've got big mama here. Um, I am go I've got one block of cream cheese in the bowl that I beat up a little bit. And I'm using my new be uh, beater, that one that has the, hold on, let me show you guys. It has the um, like spatula finish which I just got, I wanted one, and I thought, well I can't show you right now because it's locked, but it has a, it has a spatula edge. I thought, it's so cool. So I used it the other night, I was making co uh, cookie dough recipe testing, and it's really pretty dang cool, so I'm using it today. Okay, so in the mixer, I've got one block of cream cheese, and that's softened, and I'm gonna put almost this whole jar of lemon curd, because, I mean, yum. Again, you can make your own lemon curd if you're so inclined, but I'm trying to make this one fast. So <laughs> I'm putting in the lemon curd and oh my goodness, yum. Okay, lemon curd going in. Let's whip that together a little bit here, get it mixed up. the zest of one lemon going in and then I have pre-whipped the cream just to save you guys on your ears <laughs> to have to listen to me whip cream and I'm gonna put some whipped cream hold on I need another utensil right there right here okay another spatula so let's put some whipped cream into this deliciousness I'm going to save a little bit of this out because I want to decorate the top of my cake. So I'm going to put most of the whipped cream in here, but I'm going to save some for decor. So, because what is not good with lemon zest, ginger cookies, crystallized ginger, and whipped cream? I mean, it's a winner, right? <laughs> not probably enough to frost with the top of this, but mostly just for aesthetics when we get this thing done. Okay. So let's whip that in and get that moving around. Yum! Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. The lemon, oh my gosh, the lemon zest and the lemon curd smells yum. Okay, I just want to make sure we're all mixed up here, and I think it's looking good. So let me take it off the mixer here, because we are going to now stack this thing and make a refrigerator cake. So let me move this so you guys can see what I'm going to create here. See my that blade? It has like spatula sides, and it's so cool. And so far, I like it. I've used it twice. Okay, I'm going to move the mixer out of the shot and move my bowl here, Try to move it here out of the shot a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to make this in layers with these cookies, these Biscoff cookies. Okay, so I have grown to a grown-up age and did not know about these cookies. 
And how I learned about these, co these cookies, Tina, you'll like this, was on the airplane going to Israel or coming home. One of the, uh, the other ways on the airplane to Israel, they served these, the airline did, as the snack. Are you kidding me? Like, delicious? So we are using these cookies as the bottom layer of our icebox cake. And so I'm gonna make a layer, and then we're gonna put the yummy filling in the, and then we're just gonna layer this up till we get them all, all the layers in. Yum! Have you guys had these before? Did you know about them and you were just keeping them secret? They kind of have a slightly ginger kind of taste, sli uh, slightly. I know, Tina, I knew you'd like that. Wasn't it on the plane to Israel? I think, but I didn't know about them. And Rex was like, Mom, what are these? And I'm like, I don't know. They're delicious. So this recipe called for them. I'm like, I know what those are, and we are using those. So I'm going to spread a layer of our lemon filling here as gracefully as I can try and do, do this, especially with no pressure with you guys watching me to make this thing go smoothly on here. Oh my gosh. Oh. But this is going to be delicious. And then once we get all our layers in this, we will leave it in the refrigerator for a few hours and let it set up. So I saved some whipped cream out because I wanted to put it on top. So it'll have a white layer on top of this. So how yummy does this look? We're gonna put our crystallized ginger on top. Yeah, Belgium, is that what they are? Oh my gosh, yummy. So they are delicious. But that is how I learned about them. So we might as well mix them with some whipped cream and some lemon. <laughs> Tina, you'll have to try this one. Oh my gosh. Yum! Okay, put another layer of yummy goop in here. Yeah! Oh my goodness, because you know, Saturday night is COVID cards that we play with our neighbors that we've played this whole time. And so we eat on Saturday night whatever we make on the show. So, if you're wondering why we always make a dessert on Saturday, <laughs> or usually do, that's why. Because we eat it on Saturday night. Oh my gosh, did you know, also, today is National Pancake Day? Did you know, did you know that? And yes, it is okay to have pancakes for dinner. Yes, it is. I'm going to have to open my other package of these. So, now that you know, one package is about two and a half layers in here. Oh, I know. Tina, this is going to be a good one. Oh, yeah, Florence, too. See, Florence, we got to be this, you know, young and beautiful age that we are. And we've never had them before. But, oh, man, are they good. You know, they've got you captive on an airplane, so you probably eat whatever they put in front of you. But then when they give you something as yummy as this, oh, my goodness. And surprise, these days, they give you food at all. <laughs> And then they give you something this good. Oh my gosh. I know, what's your favorite store-bought cookie? Of course, we don't eat many store-bought cookies around here in cookie land. We make them. Okay. I'm going to have enough for a couple more layers before I run out of cookies. But this is going to be so yummy and different, like something new and different. It's a lot of things, things I've been trying to make for you guys. Give us all something new and different to make, huh? Oh my gosh, yum. So, get one more layer in here. I think I have enough cookies to do that. I'm using my offset spatula here, you see. It's a tool designed exactly for this, when you're trying to spread something frosting or cookie dough or whatever like that. And then we have a huge list. We have birthday shout outs today. Oh my goodness, who knew? Like who like Tina, what's the math on being born this week? Is it like Valentine's Day ba 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 uh, babies cuz we have a ton of birthday shout outs and I thought, wow, very popular week to be born this week that we're in here in September. So I would think it was, there may be Valentine's Day. 
babies. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I have one more layer of cookies in there and then this deliciousness will be completed. Now I didn't sweeten this whipped cream. Uh, I put a little bit of vanilla when I whipped it, but I didn't sweeten it because I knew that lemon curd was going to be plenty sweet. So I didn't, because I know one of you guys will ask me, and no, I didn't sweeten it. So, one more layer here of cookies, and I think we will be done. So these are so cute. I think I'm going to do, I have enough of my filling to do the top, even though I saved some whipped cream. But whipped cream is always popular. It disappears around here, so that's good. Oh, I know. See, my sister and I always have homemade cookie dough in our worlds. <laughs> so I think I need to taste this, don't you think, since that one broke? So let's taste the filling. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. This is going to be killer. My car friends are going to love me even more tonight for something new and yummy lemon deliciousness. Okay, well I don't need my whipped cream for the top because I ran out of room. So we will have to figure out another use for that. <laughs> but I'm going to spread this last layer and then we're going to use our crystallized ginger, which I just love, and sprinkle it on top. And I chopped it really fine. And I was thinking, because I've been looking at holiday cocktails for our holiday shows. We have quite a few fun things lined up on the docket um, for holiday. And I'm like, wow, what if I chopped this crystallized ginger really thin and used it um, around the rim of a cocktail? Uh, yum. How does that sound? Especially if you're a crystallized ginger lover like I am. Okay. There we go icebox cake with these yummy cookies ready to go. And I'm going to take my ginger that I chopped up really fine. You guys can see I chopped it real small and sprinkle it on the top. Oh, does this look delish or what? <laughs> Yum! So funny, I was going to make this in a longer Pyrex, like a rectangle shape. And at the last minute I switched pans and I think it was a good plan to have it be taller rather than skinnier, but oh my gosh. Okay, that is a winner and really easy and you don't have to cook it, especially somewhere hot, even though we're heading out of the hot season. But there we go, ginger, lemon, icebox cake, deliciousness. So that is our show for today. I have a whole slew of birthday shout outs. We'll do those and then I have a great giveaway for today. So if you've liked or commented on these videos, you are in my pool for the drawing, so we love when you guys um, watch us live and comment, and I love all your DMs and all the cool things you guys have been, set, been sending me. It's awesome. Um, but we do do real estate, too, so we just have a gorgeous new listing in Oxnard, and it is um, so cute, Astoria, three bedroom, two baths, so it's getting a lot of action right now, so it's awesome. Closed several this week, so it's all good in real estate, crazy around here. So let me start with our birthday shout outs. Here's my birthday shout out hat. And we have doo -doo -doo -doo, nine birthday shout outs today. So we have Keola Bowles and Maureen Green, Stacy Hanlon, happy birthday. And Ben Yesen to you, Brian Beard, Catherine Harrison, I don't know how I missed you on the show the other day, but you, I don't think you got your shout out. So happy birthday to you, our cousin in love. Um, Bobby Heinzelman on Monday, happy birthday to you, my childhood friend I've known forever. His mom and my mom were BFFs. Judy Tracy, who went to college with my parents, um, she is still alive and so much fun. So Judy Tracy, happy birthday to you. I have no idea what number you're on, but you're killing it, girl. And then Tom Hewlett, another lifelong friend, his birthday's on Tuesday. So happy birthday to all my birthday shoutouts. And then our giveaway today doo -doo -doo -doo, is... Look at these! Went down to Trader Joe's to get the crystallized ginger and what did I come home with? Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies. I mean, are you kidding me? Like the pumpkin stuff has arrived. So I thought, well that is going to be the giveaway for today. So I have two of these um, pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal um, cookie mixes and I haven't tried them yet. Um, so I cannot give you a review. 
but I would venture to say that they are going to be delish. So let's see. Who's feeling it today? Okay, let's see. Winner, winner, winner. It is. Whoa, got two. One stuck to my finger. Well, Becky Fuquay's one. Becky Fuquay, winner, winner to you, dear friend. And then Wendy Withrow Reed, childhood friend, too. You're my second winner. So, congratulations to you guys. And thank you guys for watching. We will let you know how this casserole turns out when we cook it later. Um, and we always appreciate you being here live. And visit us at GaryandLisa.com for all your real estate needs. Please watch these on Ventura Real Estate. Our YouTube channel is Ventura Real Estate. I will put the recipes below here. I also put them um, on our YouTube channel so you can find them there too. And we um, look forward to seeing you. We're here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. And we will see you on Wednesday. So thank you for watching. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best. And we will see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.